Hi there, Winnie here. In this video, we're going to draw my draw so cute squirrel. So let's get started. With this squirrel, we're going to first start by drawing the top of its head. So right here, we draw a soft little curve. So this is directly on the top. And now I'm going to bring this curve down and start to draw kind of like that dumpling shape that I usually do for all my draw so cute animals. So it's going to get wider as we come down here for the cheek area. So coming around. And then we're just going to go ahead and connect it at the bottom. So a little bit more squashed at the bottom. And connect it. So then from there, let's just come up here. Um, since we're here, let's draw the little ears for the squirrel. So I'm come about like right here and I'm just going to draw a curve up and soften the point right here and bring it down. And then I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to give myself a point right across. And I'm going to go up, same thing right here. And I'll come up right here and just give myself another point so I know about how high to go. And same thing, a soft point at the top and then bring it down. So I got the two little ears in. Now let's bring it to life. So towards the bottom right here on this part right here in the center, I'm going to draw his little nose. So right here in the center, I'm just going to start by right here and draw a curve. And from there, I'm going to round it off and bring it to a point. So I'm going to go ahead and just shade this part in. So I'm going to give myself a little highlight at the top and then shade the rest in. Okay, so then from there we can come down right here and just give it a straight line, just a very small line, and then bring up a curve. And same thing on the other side. And you can cap it off right here. Okay, so now let's draw the eyes. So I'm just going to come right across right here and draw the eyes. So it's going to be a nice size circle. So we're about right here towards the edge. I'm going to draw a big circle. And same thing on the other side. About right there. Towards the edge once again. And draw a big size circle. Okay, so then now let's go in there and make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. So same thing on this side, two small circles inside for highlights and curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. Okay, finally, it's a huge eye <laughs> and lines at the bottom. Okay, so then let's come up here over the eye and just draw a small little curve to anchor the eyes on both sides. Oh, it's so cute, right? <laughs> I hope so. So then let's come to the bottom right here. I'm just going to add two little whiskers. Right there. And right there. So two little whiskers. So I'm going to come up here, I thought the ears are a little too devilish, like horns, so I'm just going to soften this part up right here, made them too sharp. So just soften it up a little bit on right here. There, I think that's much better. So I'll go in there and raise that little tip, it's a little bit too sharp. 
Okay, so there. Now let's draw its cute little body. So I'm going to come to the sides right here and center the head. So I'm just going to give myself two little lines to center my head. And from there, I'm just going to bring this down a little bit more for the body. And then right here, I'm going to start to draw his hands. So I'm going to start about right here. So this is my center. I'm going to come right here and draw this hand that's coming towards the center, but it won't touch the center. I'm going to give myself a little gap. So same thing on this side. So just two little hands like that. And so this is the center right here. So by leaving a little gap, you can put something in here, whatever you want your squirrel to hold. And so from here, I'm going to bring down a curve for the arms and up. Okay, so then from there, let's bring this down a little bit more for the body on both sides. And then let's bring out a little curve that comes out for the legs on both sides. Okay, so then now let's come in here and we're going to draw the um, tummy area. So I'm going to indicate some fur by drawing some curved zigzags. Bring it around. So same thing on this side. And bring it around. And then from there, we're going to come to the bottom right here and just draw a curve for the feet just to make it simple and connect it. You can add a little curve right there for the foot, for the toes. So same thing here. And connect it. And then at the bottom right here, just connect it with a soft curve. So now to draw the tail. So I'm going to start by right here, give myself a point. And from here, I'm going to draw a huge curve that goes out. So I'm just going to bring out this nice fluffy tail all the way around, about right here. And then from there, I'm going to come in here with a curve and drag this line all the way back to here. I'm just going to give it one big sweep and bring it back. Then come in here and just connect this part. So now you have a nice fluffy tail for this um, squirrel. And so then if you want it, you could, um, whatever you want to put right here, I'm just going to put a little seed that the squirrel is holding. So I'm just going to add a little curve here. Or nut, whatever you like lines inside to give it some depth and of course because it's a draw so cute squirrel I'm gonna give it a little heart right here and he's outside so let me draw some grass and my dandelions so there, my draw so cute squirrel. Hope you guys like how it turned out. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new draw so cute videos. See you later.